Yo, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made my um, a song for my intro track off my EP titled "Up in Money." It's this one right here. Um, I'll play you guys a little snippet of it in a second. But the EP dropped on the 26th of March, and um, you guys should go listen to it if you haven't heard it yet, because this is my first time announcing it on YouTube. But yeah, go listen to the uh, EP. It's a good EP. Four tracks, uh, not too long. It won't take up too much of your time. It's only nine minutes total. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, it's a pretty good thing to listen to. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. But that's enough plugs. Let me get into the song and how I made it. You ain't plugging, bitch. You taxing. It's a flow chart. Now I'm up in money. Bitches dodging. Smoking on this green. If you ain't bringing me a honey, you ain't stepping on my team. I'm seeing more success than you. I'm only in my teens now. I yeah, so that was just a little bit of a snippet of the actual, of the actual um, song itself. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I made it now. And so we started in a project right here, and I just started with this loop right here called uh, Looperman Loop 130 F minor. I uh, just got it off of Looperman, and I sped it up a little bit because it was 130, and I turned it to 150. But here's what it sounded like originally. It sounds the exact same because I just put the stretch mode on, so it didn't change like the timing of anything. It just made it faster in uh, time. Um, but the first thing I added was this I have pattern right here. Shit, let me go to a uh, one where it's the full hi hats. Fuck. Sorry. First, I'm doing a tutorial on, uh, not a tutorial, like a showcase. Here's this one. Super simple hi hats. I mean, I just added a few rolls, change the velocities here and there. Um, this last roll at the end was probably like the. The strongest roll or the longest one other than maybe this one right here. I thought that one was pretty good when I made it. Um, but yeah, I made this in like one night. And that was the first thing I started with after doing the actual um, the actual loop and the uh, stuff like that. And on the loop, I just have uh, a parametric EQ, a wider, and a gross beat. And then all I did for the hi-hats was I just... EQ'd the lows out to, to take away any muddiness if possible and um, then I started with, then I had this open hat right here it was just an open hat that I that I uh, just drew in on um, I think it was I drew it on the drum, drum sequencer and then I fixed it or changed it up with the second half right here the second four bars uh, later on it was basically that the whole time uh, except for this last thing I, I changed it up here and there just so it doesn't get too repetitive during the songs and the eight bars. And then after that, I added this clap, which is just the basic clap pattern of boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you, you guys know this from every song popular. I mean, it could be half time, of course, but this is what I did. That's all the clap pattern is. And then I had this 808, uh, the spins 808. See, I got a little, uh, little colorful around here. I added these different colored notes for some reason. Uh, I think I just saw a YouTube video and someone had different colored notes. So I was like, oh, that's sick. Um, but yeah. My favorite part about the pattern is this slide note right here. I think it just hits harder, especially in the second four bars, whenever it comes back in uh, with the slide. And all I did for this slide was just so this this note this note right here the G5, um, well so the G6 is just an exact octave above that one, and so I just turned the velocity of the G5 note all the way down, and then the velocity of the G6 one is just normal as these ones around here, and you can just get the slide effect um, from that. But yeah, and then I just added a little bit of like these higher end notes. You know, just a little bit of a. I don't know, a little 808 fix up, a little bouncy 808, and then the kick pattern to go with it. See, I got a little first cue with the colors again. Uh, for the kick, all I, I just added a, um, well, I forgot to show you guys what I added for these things. I just EQ'd the lows again, mids, stuff like that, lows, 
EQ on the uh, on the clap. I don't even know what I did here. Oh, I just took out. I think it was a little harsh of a frequency or something. Um, 808. All I did was EQ the high end out just so it brought a little bit of room for the kick. I think I just put a soft clipper on the kick so it doesn't clip as much. And then I put these both down and put them in mono. The open hat I made it um, stereo. The loop I did the same thing a little bit more stereo than mono or a little bit more stereo than stereo than um, just flat in the middle. And then um, after the kick. All I really added was this rim shot right here. I'll put that for you real fast. It's just a very simple rim shot. I think it's a pretty basic pattern, or maybe even more basic than other people do. Uh, but without all the drums, I mean, without the uh, the loop, this is what the drums sound like. Oh, sorry. I'll take the vocals out too. It sounds like without the uh, all the drums. I mean, sorry, without the loop um, and the vocals. And then I added these little uh, things on here. I'll show you guys real fast. It's because in the song I say, "Hold on." Go cars. I said. Uh, I've been like it's blow darts. I was cruising through the city like it's go cars. You cruising through the city like it's go karts. So I added this little sound effect right here, car sound. Uh, I got it off freesounds.com. I'm pretty sure. I'm just. I added some reverb, so it a little drew, drew out, and then I wish I would have added a, a little bit of a delay on it, so it um, sounded better in the final in the final mix. But I mean, hey, I digress. And then at the when I said, uh, I'll just let y'all listen real fast. Flow chart now, I'm up in money, bitch. You ain't plugging, bitch. You taxing. It's a flow chart now. I'm up in money. I put uh, this scammer sound right here. I think I found it in like a Kenny Beats kit somewhere over here. Um, all I did was EQ. Oh, sorry, not EQ. I added some reverb again, and then I fuck with the EQ down here, uh, just for some lows and stuff. I probably should have done that for the car, but oh well. Just some lows, mids, and boost the highs a little bit, so it adds a little ting ting. You know what I'm saying? Flowchart now, I'm up in money. Bitches dodging up. Then I added this little. This is a vocal uh, thing I did right here. And I'm talking like it's head. Just a little inhale, uh, smoke effect. Because I think I said, I'm, I'm talking like it, I, I think I said, I'm talking like it's dead, but I'm smoking on the screen. And then this one right here is a bleep of someone's name I said. Hit up my boy, do you want That's all it is. Uh, I think I literally did nothing to it. Yeah, I did absolutely nothing to it. I just absolutely um, mutilated the sound in here. I turned it down, turned this knob. I, I, it was way too loud. To start with i think i also got that off free sounds um but yeah and then i'll get into the arrangement now so if you guys just came for like a little bit of a beat tutorial or like not a tutorial but just a little bit of how i made the beat um you know you can hop off now but if you'd like to stay around for what i did for the arrangement that's also cool too so then i started off with just eight kind of empty bars right here with my tag as well in the beginning uh, i'll play that for you right i'll play these uh like last three bars Shit's fire. So then it goes into a uh, like a little, not a pre hook because there's no hook on the song, but um, it goes into like a little pre drop I'd say, which is hi hats, an open hat, a clap, and then a rim, and they all come in in succession, like two bars between each other. So it sounds like this. Just like that, and then it drops right here. I, as you can see, I cut. Uh, I like to work in bar because it just it just snaps way better for me um, than any of these other ones. But then I go to step, and then I would I cut out these last two except for the rim shot. So it sounds like this. Uh, you guys just heard it, I guess, but it just you know what I'm saying. Uh, and then it drops. So I'll go to I'll show you guys the drop now. It's not really like a crazy drop, but it goes from this little spot right here to this. Uh, it brings in the 808 and the kick, uh, so just the bass elements that we had um, waiting around to be added, and it really sounds cool with the vocal. I feel like that's why I did the arrangement like that. Plugging bitch, you taxing it's a flow chart now. I'm up in money. Especially when I say up in money, and it just cuts out besides the rib shot, and then it ding ding with the uh, scammer sound, 
when it drops. I think it just sounds pretty cool. Uh, nothing really notable happens. But then right here, I added this gross beat effect. This is what I uh, a lot of people have texted me about, and they're like, "Oh, that's that's super sick! Like I like the way you did with the uh, the uh, the beat." So I'll just solo the um, the gross beat effect in the loop for you guys real fast. Stepping on my team, I'm seeing more success than you. I'm only in my team. And then at the very end of that, I added a little boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll show you guys that as well. At the very end of that. more success than you. I'm only in my teens now. I uh, cut everything besides the 808 kick, and then I left the hi hats exactly how they were. And added a little sweeping. It kind of it sounded like a little sweeping effect of those that roll at the very end of the A bars that I showed you guys previously. Um, and then I did another one over here, but instead of small increments of one bar, I did larger increments of two in a, in a bar right here. Um, sounds like this. Baby came to fuck me, got a condom in the loop. And then she talking super crazy, had to kick her out. Bitches can't ever seem to amaze me. And then all I did over here for the, um, I just added some chops in the loop. For where I thought it was harder, for like the and the, the end of the vocals uh, sounded harder like this. Bro, come get your bitch back. Talking on my brother, so you finna get your wig smack. Think I just like stuff like that, and then the very end of the beat. Um, so the, I Bro, come uh, get oh sorry, I hit the space bar on accident. Uh, I see, I saw, sorry, I saw that these were playing very often. The hi hats were pretty the only steady thing for the whole entire track. Um, I guess you could say everything was pretty steady like especially these right here and this but I don't know I think that the hi-hat can add like it can change up the whole entire bounce of the song um, Just by taking it out same thing with the clap. Uh, I think the perks and stuff can just be a little added uh, but without the, the Hi-hat it takes a little uh, it takes away some of the groove. I feel like of the actual moving of the uh, the beat so then right here I wanted to switch it up a little bit took out the hi-hats and then um, I, I did the same thing I did for the beginning just cut two little bars right here and then it fades out uh, the, the master volume fades out um, and it's just the whole entire beat fading out after I say this last part so I'll play that for you we gonna make a hundred else pop sipping honey with the demons have me shell shot jingle on the skirt we gonna have to make the bells drop no stopping ain't no keys up in the car I'm making hell nah I think it just brought the whole track together without the uh, oh, the hi hat being there for just even eight bars. Um, it really helped out. I feel like because I had uh, the whole entire track was basically laid out. It was just arrangement. I had everything recorded, everything like that. I I recorded it all with just bricks of everything there. So then after that, I was just like, okay, time for me to, you know, decide what I want to be where, how I want it to sound, how I want this to sound. Um, and this is how it turned out. So. I hope you guys did enjoy. Full track will be linked in the description. Go listen to the whole EP, 9 to 5 Breadwinner, on all platforms. G A V Y N N, same as my YouTube channel name. Uh, show this video to a friend who likes beats, or show the EP to the friend who likes music, because who doesn't like music? But yeah, have a good rest of your guys' day, night, whatever time it is for you. And uh, I'll see you next video. Peace.